Is this footage looking quite cinematic? I hope so. This is the new Cine lens from Seven Artisans. Whether you shoot video or photos, there's a great chance you'll enjoy this lens, so stay tuned. Hi guys, Matt here from MrLarker.com. So yes, today we are looking at the brand new Seven Artisans Spectrum 85mm T2 lens. This is one of three Spectrum lenses. They released the 35, the 50 and the 85 T2 lenses and they followed the vision lenses which are APS-C. If you've seen this channel before you know we tend to look at Leica. This lens comes in Leica L mount, Canon RF, Nikon Z and Sony E. So something for everybody. As you probably also know if you've seen this channel before I normally shoot portraits and weddings, mostly models. It's less interesting for me as a video lens although it could be quite useful for recording YouTube videos if you like the, the, the aesthetics, the look that it gives. But 85F2 is really cool if you want to shoot portraits. So when Seminatans reached out to me and said, would I like to test this lens? I, of course, jumped at the chance. So thanks Seminatans. This is the 85F2. And they also kindly sent me their Seminatans Black Mist filter. And I'll come on to that in a second. So what can I tell you about these lenses? They are full metal construction, they are manual focus, they have the gearing on the outside in the similar position on the 35, the 50 and the 85. So it's easy for you guys that shoot video to set up your pull focus things to uh, to make it easier for video. I've pre-focused this and then hopefully as long as I don't move backwards and forwards too much, my eyes will hopefully be in focus for much of the video. I'm shooting this on a Limix S5 at about 1.2 meters with a black mist filter for those of you that are interested in video. But of course you can do the same if you shoot portraits as well. I use the Limix S5 for portraits but normally I use the Leica SL. Talking of the SL, I was asked to run a workshop in Bath in the UK a few days ago and so I had the opportunity to take this lens with the Leica SL camera and I was shooting it alongside another photographer teaching him, Lawrence, how to use his like SL camera. So here's a photo to give you an idea of a scale. You can see the 85F2 7 Artisans lens next to the 90 1.25 lens. Both pretty monster lenses when it comes to lenses for like amount. Well here's the lens next to my 90mm F2 pre-spherical M-out lens and also next to a Jupiter 9 85F2. Stay tuned, I've got a video coming on that as well. Being a cinema lens, this lens has got a long focus throw, 270 degrees, and those that have shot it for video say it's got virtually no focus breathing. It's got a declicked aperture, close focus distance is really good, 0.79 meters, and it's got an 8 to 2mm standardized filter thread across all three spectrum lenses, so you can use your same filters. If you saw my recent video on the Sigma lenses and also on the black mist filter that I did, you'll see why I use this filter for pretty much all the photos in this video. I was keen to do some side by side photos versus the vintage lens to see if I can get a pretend vintage look with a filter on a modern lens. And this is a pretty sharp lens, even wide open f2, this lens is sharp and stop down to 2.8, it is really sharp. So I think for portraits, you're going to need a filter or some kind of soft lighting uh, effect. In terms of the lens design, it is nine elements in eight groups and it has 10 aperture blades, which is really cool for bokeh because more aperture blades means you're going to get more circular bokeh. And you can see if you're shooting at a distant subject, even if you stop the lens down, you can still get round bokeh around f8, f11. If the bokeh is a bit closer, it can get a bit more hexagonal depending on how close you are and the light and everything. The bokeh is circular in the center and then you get the more cat eye effect at the edges. I quite like that for portraits. And what about the weight? This is a weighty lens for us Leica users. 832 grams, which is 29.3 ounces. Normally I use the wrist straps on all my cameras, but I fitted the SL with a neck strap and it wasn't too bad. I didn't notice the additional weight where I think I would have if I had it on my wrist all day. In terms of lens character, being a longer lens, this lens has almost no vignetting. There's a little bit of f2, almost none by 2.8, and then pretty much gone by f4. Good contrast and the colours with the filter removed. I'd say slightly blander colours than some Leica lenses. And once you apply a preset, you get nice colours. Here's a raw photo with a Mr. Leica preset applied. And I think the colours are quite nice, even if it's not a quite a perfect photo. The bokeh is good. I think really nice to portraits and video if you can see the background. Little or no distortion, as you can see from the drain pipe on the edge of these photos, shooting it from wide open and then stopping down. And then in terms of flare, we didn't have sun on the day that we were shooting. So I shot a photo of these lights inside one of the restaurants we were staying in. 
Here's a photo without the filter, same photo with the mist filter, and then here's the same photo shot with a vintage Soviet lens. So I think the Soviet lens gives you the most imperfect look, but I really love the cinematic rendering when you apply the mist filter to the 7 Artans 85 f2, and I think I would only really use this lens with the filter attached. That said, let's look at some more portrait examples. All photos just shot wide open f2 with the mist filter attached. And you may recognize the model from one of the previous videos where she was wearing a red dress. The lighting in these is not perfect. It was available only, uh, no reflectors, no modifiers. And we're just kind of shooting on the side of the high street for some of these. All of these photos are like SL raw files with the mist like a black and white preset attached. If you're interested in presets, you can click the link in the description below. And also, if you're interested in portraiture, I've now just released my free Mr. Leica Model of Photography Guide ebook. First link in the description. Check it out. Hopefully, it'll get you started if you would love to get into this how to take photos of models, you know, how to find the model. Maybe you don't know if you need to pay them. There's many questions. There's actually an add on pack if you look on the last page of the book, and that includes videos showing how I edit and me working with the models as well. So, hopefully, everything you need. Oh, and an audio book included as well. Okay, and back to the lens. Can I recommend the Seven Artisans Spectrum? I'd say yes. I'd say it's a bit more corrected than many of the older, say 90f2, 90f2.8 to Leica lenses. There's very little fall off at the edges, which makes it a bit too flat looking. I quite like a bit of fall off in my photos, but if you just add a preset, then you can easily add some vignetting in post. Sharpness is good. It's almost a bit too sharp if you're not careful. I would definitely recommend it for video and portraits with the, the mist filter attached. And that is on the Seminar Sands website. In terms of price, you can get them in B&H if you're in the US, £459. I can put links again below. Well done, Seven Art Sands. Yeah, if you've not yet subscribed, subscribe and I'll do a review of the Jupiter 985 F2 from the same model photography workshop. And then maybe you'll be able to see if you can see a difference between a true vintage lens versus a model lens with the filter attached. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. If you're not yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe. And as always, a massive thanks to my patrons. If you're like a shooter and you want something equivalent for your M camera, check this video next. It's one of the best M mount 90mm portrait lenses from my experience.